Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I have another swatch video for you featuring some polishes that I purchased in July at the Polish and Beauty Expo. I'm filming a bunch of these videos today so hopefully you enjoy this outfit and makeup because you're going to see it a lot. These are polishes that I purchased not at the Expo but when I got home because I was fortunate enough to get in early as press and so I was trying to go to every booth and like take pictures and try to do like the press thing. You know, put some Instagram video up, do my stories, not shop. I didn't. And then all the VIP people were allowed in and then all the general admission people were allowed in and it was just a little chaotic. So I stopped at the Jen and Barry's table. You know, I've chatted with her a little bit on um, Instagram and stuff, and so she knew, you know, recognized me. And I was like explaining, yeah, I'm kind of in a hurry, you know, I'm trying to do all this stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and like chat. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to. And I never got a chance to purchase her event exclusive either. <laughs> And she, I think she had posted about it on Instagram and I messaged her and I said, I forgot to come back and buy them. <laughs> I feel, I'm, you know, such, I didn't have time. There was no time for anything. And she said, yeah, it was crazy. She goes, I'm going to list the others like when I get home and I'll let you know. And I said, that would be amazing. Thank you. So she messaged me and said, they're on the site. There's however many left. So I ordered a couple of other things. So thank you, Jenny, for... <laughs> alerting me to this fact. Uh, so I don't have descriptions of her event exclusives, but they were uh, Chicago inspired. And they're beautiful. So let's get to the swatches. First is called Chicago Blues, and this is a beautiful like, bright blue with silver flakes. And I think, I feel like maybe micro flakies as well. Silver micro flakies. This one is, you know, the perfect blue. Uh, this one covers in three coats. You can wear this polish in two. It covers evenly in two coats, but you can still see a little bit of nail line. So two to three coats, depending on how you prefer your nail polish. But yeah, I love blue, so that was an essential purchase. The second polish from the duo is called Deep Dish Diving, and this is the same formula, but like the red version. This one, though, seemed to be more opaque, <laughs> so I don't know if I was inten unintentionally applying a heavier coat. So two to three coats. I think that you can still see a little bit of nail line, but I wrote it as two coats. I don't, you know, I swatch at night, and sometimes I'm maybe not awake, so two coats of deep dish divey. I did purchase two from her Summer Hollows series. So the first is called Mango Soiree and this is a biscotti yellow jelly with gold and silver shimmer and holographic flakies inspired by Mango Sorbet, which sounds delicious. This one um, needed three coats. It's a, a yellow jelly. So three coats of Mango Soiree. The formula is really nice. The polish covers evenly and it's not an in-your-face holographic polish, but it definitely looks shimmery and sparkly and then of course in the sun it's going to look more holographic. But as I just said, I swatch at night. There is no sun at night. This isn't Alaska. So three coats of Mango Soiree. Next polish is called Out for Blood Orange, and this is described as in a salmon jelly with red gold shifting shimmer and holographic flakes inspired by blood orange granitas. I don't know what that is, but that sounds delicious. This one covers in two coats. I love an orange. I love, you know, I just, I was trying to buy colors from this collection that I didn't own a lot of because my first instinct is to, of course, buy the blue and the purple and the green. But I own a lot of those, so I tried to buy colors that I don't own quite as many. I mean, I still own a lot of yellow and orange nail polish, but you know, not as many as the blues and the purples. And these are both beautiful polishes. The formula is really nice. They're beautiful. So that's two coats of Out for Blood Orange. 
Um, it, whenever I order from Jen and Berries, she always includes an extra. It's very nice. This time there's a little mini polish. It's unlabeled, so I don't know the name, but it's this uh, purple with a blue shimmer, and then there's, I think that they're white, but they might be like very, 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 very light pink uh, matte glitters, and then there's also some blue glitters in here. This one is a three coat polish. But, I mean, I don't really know why I'm showing you because you, you can't buy it <laughs> and I don't have a name for it, but I just thought it was really nice that she included this, so I wanted to swatch it and put it in the video for you. Those are my Jen and Berry's purchases from Polish and Beauty Expo, kind of, yeah. Let me know uh, if you guys have tried Jen and Berry's before. I know I've talked about this brand on my channel before. I didn't purchase a lot of nail polish for a while, I feel, other than collections to review. And something recently has just like reignited my love, especially for indie nail polish. Which is pretty, but no. Let me know which polish is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video.